Plus, playing with the troops, how the community is helping in a non-traditional way. Good morning to you, Central Illinois, and thank you so much for joining us on this Monday. I'm Darren Mullen. And I'm Sophia Espinosa. It's 5 a.m. on this cold Monday morning. <laughs> Meteorologist Anthony Peoples joins us now. Anthony, the entire weekend I was just complaining about how cold it is, but it looks like you might have some good news for me and maybe the rest of the people who want some warmth this week. Imagination. He does. You'll see that right now. Out of 150 applications, an 8-year-old from New York got the job. Gilma Avalos introduces us to the company's new chief storyteller. The Ansar Shrine Circus was back in town this weekend with new acts and a new ringleader. WND's AJ Washington caught up with the performers and shows us a look behind the show. Now I and our very own Don Sterling and Alyssa Patrick helped MC the event and it was such a blast. The clown actually called my boyfriend and me up to the stage. The Peoria County Corner has identified a 10-year-old boy after he was hit by a pickup truck while riding his bicycle. The coroner says Troy Irving died Friday after the hit and run on Tuesday. University of Illinois police arrested 20-year-old Richard Fraser with a loaded gun. Now all this just blocks away from the U of I campus. Officers say they heard gunshots a mile north of campus and Fraser left the scene. He ran a red light and didn't use his turn signal. That's when an officer finally pulled him over before having to chase him down. Crying out loud. Hot chocolate, don't mm -hmm. forget that. Yeah, do not want to forget <laughs> the hot chocolate. And of course, you got to have your favorite Christmas movie on the TV. But what are the top Christmas movies out there? Darren, thanks for asking. I'll tell you. According to the Christmas <laughs> Movie Guide, the top five are the 1966 version of How the Grinch Stole Christmas. The U.S. has reached 47 million COVID-19 cases, and some states have seen a decrease in cases, while others, such as some cold weather states, have seen increases. Experts say the Thanksgiving and Christmas holidays could bring another surge. They say the virus thrives in cool, dry air and when people gather indoors. The Decatur Convention Center hosted Heroicon this weekend. It's a board game convention, and WAND's Oliviana Calmi shares how the event is bringing fun activities to service members around the world. Now, if you missed it, there's another Heroicon coming up in May. Danville will host their very first holiday lighting ceremony. The city ordered new holiday commercial lights to light up the town. On November 26th at 5.30, everyone is invited to meet up downtown and Harrison and Main Street. Organizers say they're excited to bring everyone together to celebrate their city during the holidays. The U.S. Capitol Christmas tree is on the way, but not without a stop in central Illinois, in Effingham. The tree is on its way from Crescent City, California, and Illinois State Police shared these photos there on your screen. The tree will continue its travels to Washington, D.C. this morning at around 730. And hundreds stood and watched on the plaza at Rockefeller Center in New York City as the country's most famous tree gets ready to take that center stage. NBC's Jen Maxfield was there to get visitors' reactions. Former Trump advisor Steve Bannon is expected to turn himself in and appear in court today. Bannon was indicted by a federal grand jury for refusing to answer questions from the House Committee investigating the January 6th Capitol riot. President Biden will sign the bipartisan infrastructure bill today, which aims to modernize the nation's roads, rails and bridges, as well as bring high-speed Internet to people across the United States. NBC's Chris Pallone reports. Helping bring smiles to children is the mission of some retirees in Fort Worth. And uh, it makes me excited for Thanksgiving. I just started planning it in my head as you were speaking. My yeah. stomach is already rumbling <laughs> just thinking about Thanksgiving. Yeah. We'll see you coming up at noon. Join us then.